Welcome back everyone. We're going to continue looking at some tools that are used in Helium, specifically Hotspotty. And we're going to dive into kind of some specific features in terms of uh, Hotspot placement, Hotspot earnings, and uh, projections, all that kind of stuff. So I want to give a shout out to the Hotspotty team for contacting me to do these videos and just because it's an awesome product. So I'd love to share some content on it and um, get some people to sign up. Uh, if you got any corrections or comments for the Hotspotty team, make sure you put them in the comments below as they'll check them out. Um, it's always nice to participate in community and help make the product better. Uh, I have a history in, in software development, so I know what it's like. So don't worry about your feedback, or even if you're very confused about something, put that in the comments below and they'll get a chance to take a look at it and hopefully put that uh, feedback into the product. So let's get started taking a look at this. So this is their uh, main website. You can just go to hotspotty.net, sign up for this, and then you'll be able to uh, get into the uh, user interface. And um, yeah, so a lot of fun. Excited for this tutorial. All right, let's jump into it. Now this is with the People's Hotspot. If you missed the intro, I can talk about, uh, basically I'll put a link into the hot, uh, Hotspotty for hosting companies, uh, as that's the, the People's Hotspot. I kind of explained the background there, so I won't get too into that in this video. So we're gonna focus mainly on uh, the browsing of this, which actually I'm going to take uh, one more tab over and we're gonna look around at here. So how I got there is just on this workspace tab you can go back and then you just go to this map tab up here as well so this tells you everywhere uh, you can go anywhere in the world and start looking at this now i've actually added some layers on here so you can have contours uh, gradients of of where you might be able to do specific placements so usually i have not been able to plan my placements so it's just kind of understanding what is impacting earnings today uh, so you can just start from anywhere in the world and zoom in and out. Um, you can change layers on here as well. So you go into this appearance settings and you can take off the, so say you don't like the elevation contours and you can take them off. And then maybe you want a satellite view. Well, then you can put the satellite view on there and you can see whether they're on. it's a city, it's a rural area, all that kind of stuff. Um, and I'll just do that so that it can be a little bit brighter. So you can control layers um, for the purposes of this demo. I want to keep it on that higher contrast. So I'm going to take off the satellite view, but you can come in here and, and do all that as, as you would like. And I'm going to turn on some other things because there's some interesting information in here. Uh, oh, one other thing in here is the dark theme. I, I, th I can't remember if they default to the dark theme or not, but I'm totally a fan of dark mode. So take a look at that. All right. So I'm going to just uh, scoot around. It looks like England here. Um, I, th I believe because one of the people's hotspots is in England. So that's where, where we're at right now. And we can kind of just dive into this. I'll, I'll zoom out a little bit more um, so that we can just see what's all going on. So you can kind of see just from the natural growth of the network where all the cities are. See that there's lots of growth up here. And uh, this must be London, I'm guessing. Um, but we can just zoom kind of back in here. And you can see that these, um, why are these kind of blotchy shapes on here? Well, this is the way uh, hex ha uh, earnings are calculated. So the team at Hotspotty kind of reverse engineered the earnings um, matrix or however you want to cal uh, calculate it or call it. Um, and so how they do that is to basically, uh, let's go from a general sense is if there's too many hotspots per hex, then it reaches critical mass and then the earnings get penalized. It's There's a mechanic in the network that encourages hotspots to spread out. And so uh, if you have a hotspot now and you're fine, but then all of a sudden your neighbor has one too, and they're literally right next door within that 300 meters, all of a sudden, boom, you're taking a hit personally. And then uh, that also happens at a greater scale. So if you think of it almost like an ice cream cone or um, 
those little Russian dolls that stack on each other. You're always in multiple hexes or res, uh, res uh, X is what they call it. So there's like res one, res two, I, I believe, and it goes to eight or nine, I think. I could be wrong there. But what you can see here is that there are different hexes in here or, or res groups. So, um, and this just happens to be a good area that has um, lots of small uh, little hexes. So what you see here is over here, if we zoom into there, you can see that right in the middle here, there are two within the same hex. So this area is not earning as, as much or as well because these two hotspots are very, very close together. And if we just click on uh, one of them, see if this works. Maybe I'm messing something up here. Um, there we go. So it just took a little bit of time for that, that information to load. Now, one other thing you can check out here is this Discord collaboration. If this owner of this hotspot has registered in Hotspotty and they verified their wallet, they can also uh, be open to um, uh, communications on Discord. So you can literally reach out to that person. And, uh, you know, if it was this was just two different people out there and they said, hey, we're um, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, you know, go to this location. Um, can can we you know work together or can we just can I help you find another place to rehome this miner um, so that we can maximize our earnings together or something like that? You know, maybe there's this is the only location they had. So this was damaged wintergreen uh, squid and you can come in here and see all their earnings and what they've done. Um, you can see their reward scaling. And this might take some time to, to load. So you can see that, oh, it's got a poor transmit scale. So it's at 0.25. So that means it's just, and this is where it says at res 10, uh, that's one too many. So this is probably that 300 meter hex that that means there's two. And then even at the res nine, there's two in there as well. So that, that really limits earnings like uh, very much uh, uh, to a big degree. Now, uh, all the other res resolutions, they're okay. And it says like there's, oh, there's 52 more at this resolution. But you can see that uh, all of a sudden, if you're if you're green, you're like, oh, I, there's nobody near me. And all of a sudden your earnings, your transmit or your reward scale goes down. You may want to take a look at hotspot here and they'll show you exactly where you're at in this formula and you might know oh whoops there's too many here now there was one one too many and so now that pushed it over the limit and now your earnings will get affected i expect that this is going to happen for a lot of people if not all people just because of the general you know growth of the network and then penalizing growth it, it's just it it will continually be more profitable to send uh, uh, you know, your miners to the outside of the network as uh, POC rewards are still um, very much uh, rewarded uh, according to your coverage. So one thing to think about though in that is that there's like a kind of a second wave that's even more important for the network because proof of coverage is, is great. However, uh, proof of coverage is just so that we can get more people on board to the network and getting uh, more data usage. So that's the second wave in that, you know what, even if you're at a really poor uh, reward scale, but you have an excellent location and there's a lot of uh, IoT data that's flowing through the network, then your earnings are going to be greater because of that. So something to think about, especially as the next having approaches, which is I think is in 2023, if I'm not mistaken, then POC rewards will go down while and also 5G uh, proof of coverage will also get mixed in there as well. So then uh, by and large, POC will go down and data transfer will, will basically be the way to make money on the Helium network. So that's even more so why devices are important. And it's really important anyways. That's the end game. So um, just to think some words about that, kind of doing a little bit of education as we're talking through this uh, tool here. So you can see that these two hotspots are too close. And then really, hey, it's highlighting this other one because it's in this next hex up, the, the resolution 9. That means that there's still too much. 
in this area. So that's why it's affecting earnings. So damage wintergreen squid and whatever other ones these are, you're, you're, you're kind of hurting each other's earnings. Um, and maybe you can talk with this neighbor over here, or maybe this neighbor would be better. And then uh, if they get, agree to host, well, then all of a sudden you're improving it at least a little bit more. So that's the advantage of looking at the map here and looking around. Now, there are some things that you can even do to simulate earnings as well. Um, and it talks about that in here. You can see these green ones are perfect. There's nothing wrong with them. Earnings are great. You can get information again on them and dive into earnings even more so. Again, just like we saw earlier, you can see all the transmit scales or if they've been doing good or not. Of late, uh, you can again contact the owner if they have their information posted. You can also check witnesses. So everything that you can do in, in Explorer, um, you can uh, get in here as well. And you can see I just got this pop-up from, from Hotspotty that said, hey, I just earned 0.02 HNT. So I should have clicked on it and we all could learn together. So this is also getting notifications that you've done some mining. So again, it's, it's a lot, uh, very much like Explorer. Um, this data is just continually uh, coming in. And again, it's apart from the Helium networks like Explorer data. So this ideally is always up. Um, or at least there's there's some amount of like, well, if you can't get data at one place, you can go to the other. If you can't get it in Explorer, you can get it in Hotspotty. If you can't get it in Hotspotty, you can go to Explorer. And of course the intention of this is, I, I believe, to make money. So Hotspotty team is kind of also in, um, incentivized to keep their application up. And you can see that um, this one has been kind of steadily going down for a while. Now, more than likely this is due to growth of the network, like more hotspots added online, and so on and so forth. So this maybe isn't, you know, these little bumps here, uh, that's another call out to say, that's by and large not normal. Um, well, it, it is normal, actually, I would say. You're gonna experience a couple a couple down days. And then the, the, but you see that if you were to take this peak here and then plop it in this valley, the earnings are actually pretty uh, even. So something to keep, take note of is when when things are really off kilter you know if there was a huge windstorm that went by and damn you know or a hailstorm and damaged your antenna or something like that well then you could see a big adjustment in your earnings um, but if it's by and large pretty you know if your peaks tip over into your valleys and kind of fill it in then you're you're probably okay and you can go anywhere in the world again with this um you can look at different resolutions. Um, you can look at the um, different contacts that you have. It's just tons and tons of information. Uh, so you can look at near, uh, let's see here. Let's go to this resolution. And then get information at the uh, resolution seven. And then it will actually give you those outlines. So if you're wondering like, if you're looking at placements, you know, you might notice that all these are red. You probably don't want to go into this res um, anymore because it's starting to get packed. Earnings are starting to be impacted quite a bit more. And you can see that by that green. It's it's probably still, it's decent, but it's still 0.95. So even in this one. So if you're looking at growing the network in this area, you'd want to look at these areas up here or maybe look out here. You definitely probably don't want to go this way either because it's just, very very um, populated so something to think about uh, in your placements of just understanding uh, hey where am I gonna get the best bang for my buck if I can actually place these or, or think about oh I actually know somebody who lives over here I can talk to them rather than you know uh, talking to your neighbor down the road or something like that or if you know a friend that, that knows a friend that lives over there or something like that, you know, it's just about developing your network. So let's go continue to zoom out here. And you can see that as I'm, as I'm doing these things, it does take a while to load. Uh, it's a lot of data to crunch and present 
Um, if I knew the, the ins and outs of the software better, I could probably at least hide a little bit for that, that demo and you wouldn't be getting these, right? It's just crunching a lot of numbers. This is the nature of software development. Um, and, and it just, this is how it goes. It takes a lot of uh, trial and error and understanding use cases and seeing what the, what people or, or users are doing, um, during, during the, uh, use of your product and so that you can refine it. I'm probably doing some things that are, are not normal because um, you're, you're usually just in that area looking at one little thing and not at this macro level. So something to, to be thinking about there. And for those that didn't catch the other videos, again, I, I have a hosting, a hosting company video that you can go and take a look at. I'll put that in the description below. Um, you can come in here and go over information on your wallet. If you link your wallet and verify your wallet, then you can also get uh, that you're a verified user and then you can get information about uh, or, or Discord information. People can send you messages. Even if you don't want to get messages through Discord, you can still have it sent through Hotspotty. And that, uh, if you saw the comments tab earlier, that was um, there, there can be messages in there. So just some other things to think about. Again, I have a video that goes over all of these if you're a hosting company or even if you uh, want to just kind of have a quick glance at, at uh, hotspots, you know, if you have it at, you know, your, I don't know, your cousins or your sisters or your parents or whatever, uh, just family members or uh, colleagues, then you can manage it all through here. So it's still very, very useful. Um, I'm sure that they would love and appreciate your dono donations. I think at some point there will be uh, a, a way to also pay for this as uh, there's a lot of value in here and, and it could be that, uh, you know, maybe you get a better, a better tier of server, you know, service such that, um, you know, you don't have those performance issues or something like that. Um, as soon as you put a paywall behind it, the, the, the performance issues you tend to, to, to go a little bit better and then and then it also ripens it for scale right then you can pay for those servers that are that you'll need uh, during those crunch times so yeah uh, hope you've enjoyed this video if you um, if you have or if you've got any questions for the hot spotty team throw them in the comments below or if you have any corrections or questions that you'd like to dive into a little bit more or what did i forget um, put that below and i'll make more videos on this uh, hot spotty is a very complex tool there's lots to go over and there's things that i missed that i, I know that will probably need more videos and of course as they add more functionality uh, we'll do videos on those as well so thanks a lot for watching make sure you hit that like and subscribe and until next time carpet and pestis